Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon. Welcome to Yoga New Mexico, where we focus on empowerment, alignment, and strength. You are in the right place, capable and strong. So today it's time to examine Pada Hastasana, hands to feet pose. Pada Stasana, Pasta Stas, Pasta Stasana, Pasta Asta Mayasana, your asana, Mas Mastapapasa. Anyways, Pada Hastasana. And there's a lot of things going on in this posture. And um, some of them, if you're not very good at it, some of the things um, might not be so evident as to why you can't get your hands all the way underneath those feet. Um, it really starts all the way up uh, in your shoulders because your shoulders need to be a little bit loose. Also, that low back needs to be loose to allow your glutes to be a little bit loose. And then your hamstrings as well. It goes all the way down into uh, your calves. So really, um, there's so many things going on in this posture but um, I want to demonstrate some good alignment tips for you and then give you a few um, tricks or hacks or things to um, help deepen your posture. Cool. So you roll out your yoga mat or get a cup of tea or get some water and I will roll the intro screen. So hands to feet pose is um, kind of a more challenging posture, I think, for a lot of folks because um, of tight hamstrings. Now, I'm not being sexist, but if you are a man, this is probably much harder for you than if you are a woman. I'm just saying, speaking in general, um, and I know in the comments people are going to be like, hey, I'm a dude and I have great hamstrings, or hi, I'm a girl and my hamstrings are tight, you know, so anyways, um, the fact is that uh, in my teaching experience, I've noticed that most men, this is harder for them, most, most women, it's, um, you know, not too bad because their hamstrings are naturally a little bit uh, looser than guys. Um, if you are a runner specifically, this pose is is hard uh, because those hamstrings tend to be pretty tight unless you are a chronic stretcher as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. And I would say that um, don't dive into this posture. If you're cold, it's better to be warmed up after a run or after a yoga class or something like that where those hamstrings and those legs are already loose because um, you know, you don't want to pull a hammy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pose. So hands to feet pose, you're going to notice that you need to have those feet hips distance. Hips distance is measured with two fists in between your feet. Um, literally your leg bones should drop straight out of those sockets and straight down. Now, if you have a really skinny butt, you might be lining it up with your butt and it might be this big. Or if you have a big butt, it could be out here and it could be this big, right? Well, it's where the femurs come out of your uh, hip socket there. So just measure with two fists and we'll be fine. So measuring, making sure everything is good and lined up there. And a great way to begin is just to take your peace sign fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Now, you might be thinking, well, I can't even get down that far. It's okay. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees as much as you need to. So then go ahead, take those fingers, wrap them around, and relax. So this is like part A, the beginning part of the pose, right? is just to bend your knees and just to relax. Because um, if you keep your head up in your Padahastasana, you're defeating the whole purpose. You wanna relax your head, neck, and shoulders and just hang on down. And however much you need to bend your knees to allow that to happen is perfectly fine. Eventually, with time, your knees will begin to straighten. So, peace sign fingers around those big toes 
Knees are bent. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. And so that's step one, right? Um, in a minute, I'm going to show you a great way to actually be able to uh, rest and relax those hamstrings. So stay tuned. You know, don't go anywhere. Uh, if you have questions, comment section below. Also, awesome place to post your questions, and I'll get back to you. So that's kind of the first part, right, is those peace sign fingers around your toes and eventually bringing those palms underneath your hands. So let's really look at this. This is how it should look. So toes, wrist creases, and then palms underneath, except we are right here. So lifting up those feet, sliding them underneath. Again, bending your knees as much as you need to allow this to happen and just hang on down. Then straightening those knees and relax. So begin with your peace sign fingers and eventually build up to, um, you know, placing your palms underneath your feet. And here's a few good tips um, to get even deeper in your Pada Stasana. And really you can use these whether you have your peace sign fingers around your big toes or whether you have your hands underneath your feet as well. So either one is fine. Okay, so getting set up. Here in your Pada Hastasana. Then relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Next, you want to bring that belly in towards your spine. This is going to help you fold a little bit more. So you're going to notice your breath gets a little weird when you do this, but that's fine. Bring your belly into that spine. And. Just breathe, keep folding, keep folding. You want to eventually shift that weight forward a tiny bit. So you're in the balls of your feet. Your heels shouldn't lift off, but instead of being back here, you just want to be here. And then keep folding, keep folding, keep coming down. And then engage your quadriceps just a little bit. When you engage your quads up here, this is going to help to kind of let your hamstrings let go just a tiny bit, which will help you fold a little bit more. And then the last step you want to do is begin gently pulling on those toes. So you're kind of pulling yourself down. But there's a happy medium, right? So don't do this too much. Um, you want your breath to be doing the majority of the work and your arms are kind of secondary. It's just kind of like a guide, kind of like training wheels on your bike. And come on out. Very good. So, um, those are kind of the cues that um, I give in some of my classes when um, people are asking about padhastasana. This is also um, one of my favorite poses to um, come by and adjust people in because most people can go way deeper than they think they can. And it has a lot to do with um, this fear element of tumbling forward. So when um, you have that weight back in your heels, you feel safe. But as soon as you start to bring that weight forward into the balls of your feet, you know, um, it's hard to relax, right? Because your brain's thinking, danger, danger, I need to back off. So everything tightens up. So um, I need to reposition the camera. So let's have a look at a cool trick that you can do um, to help get you deeper into your Parahastasana, hands to feet pose. So one cool trick you can do to help you overcome this fear is by finding 
a wall. And all you gotta do is just line your mat up with the wall. And then this way, as you tilt forward, if you bump into the wall, it's not going anywhere. So let's take a look real quick. So the trick is, is that you bring your hands to wherever they need to be. Like I said, you can bring them underneath all the way or just take your peace sign fingers and wrap them around your big toes. And then you try to find that happy medium, right? Between like being too far back and then if it's too far forward, your heels are gonna lift off. You don't want your heels to lift off, but you do wanna straighten those legs. So it's interesting because you can kind of push into the wall and straighten your legs. And again, you might not be able to get your legs perfectly straight, but you can, you know, find that, like I said, happy medium. So if you're bent way down and you're afraid to go forward, it's okay because the wall is still right there. Relax those heels down. So that's really it. That's like the, uh, uh, that's the big trick for overcoming your fear of uh, coming too far forward in your Pada Hastasana. And again, play with it, go back and forth and everything. I really like this wall. I need to, it's a good wall. I need to come over here more often. So thank you so much. That's basically it. Uh, using the wall is a really great way to help uh, break past that fear uh, in your Pada Hastasana and, um, you know, let go those hamstrings. So uh, if you found this video awesome, amazing, um, marginal, uh, or good, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to share it on uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you have. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, maybe tag a friend who you might have been talking about this, saying, hey, just the other day we were talking about this, and here's a video. So uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, you are an amazing human being. You are in the right place, capable and strong. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.